This is Cameron Chai from azonano.com and I'm speaking to Jeff Anderson who's a senior product manager at Vico and he's going to talk to us about the DECTAC 150. Hi, so the DECTAC series profilometers is a surface, a stylus profilometer. It's, uh, Vico has been making, or the DECTAC product line has been in existence for 40 years. It's enjoying its 40th anniversary in 2008. Uh, and we have sold probably 17,000 of these tools over that period of time. Uh, the stylus profiling is the accepted standard for almost all surface topography, waviness, and lay measurements. Uh, it's codified in the the ASTM B46.1, as well as uh, many numerous ISO certification standards, ISO standards. Uh, the technique is relatively straightforward. It's a contact technique. You have a stylus, you put it on the surface, you move the sample underneath that, and you measure how much the Z changes in height as it moves over the surface. Uh, very acceptable, relatively low tech, uh, but very accurate, very repeatable, and uh, a relatively inexpensive measurement. We still sell a large number of these tools. Uh, the DECTAC uh, system has got built in almost 30 analysis capabilities, or 30 analyses built into the system in this main software. Um, and it has been, you know, the software has evolved over the time to improve its capability. Uh, with this system here as well, we actually have the ability to stitch together scans and make a high resolution 3D map. So we have the ability to give you both 2D and 3D capabilities on this system. Uh, the stylus profiling, if you want to think of it in a very basic way, think about the LP records days, and that's record needle dragging across that surface and the little wiggles on that LP related to sound. Well here, it's the same sort of technology, you have a needle on the surface, and as it runs over little pieces, it registers that height, and from that we can make quantitative measurements. Uh, the forte of the DECTAC series tool is for making measurements on thin films, uh, deposition of either metals or uh, dielectrics on wafers or on reflectors, many industrial applications, uh, many wafer applications. We can measure stress, we can do long scans, we can measure things up to 55 millimeter scans on this. Uh, so it's actually a very powerful yet friendly tool. Uh, the other nice thing about the tool is it's relatively robust. You can walk up to the tool, put a sample under it, make a measurement in a few minutes, and walk away. And in many universities, this becomes one of the most used tools because people will just come up to it to verify their, their purpose or their, their experimental results. Now I'd like to move on to some, cap some of the fundamental features of the tool. So this is a tool, it normally has an environmental enclosure around it because the tool is so sensitive, our contact force is as low as three one hundredths of a milligram. It does not take much airflow to cause that stylus to bounce around. Um, so the, the cover has been removed to, to give some access to it. We have a sample stage here. Uh, this is a 150 millimeter wafer size sample. It actually is vacuum capable so you can hold a wafer down. It also can be rotated relatively straightforward. It's a manual situation and we can actually adjust the tilt up and down with this knob on the front here. The way the system works is the stylus remains stationary and we move the sample underneath the stylus and the key to the system is this reference flat. This is an optically flat system or reference uh, to 1 20th of a wavelength over the entire 6 inch of the, uh, the surface itself. And that gives us our low noise baseline and our ability to me resolve and measure very small features on the system. This is a nice compact system. It's built on a casting, so it's got very, very rigid and robust, so it's not susceptible too much to environmental noise. Um, and a tool like this is, uh, it's pretty much, whenever somebody's setting up a lab, they think, okay, so I need, you know, I need this tool, I need that tool, and I need my deck tack. It's often the, one of the tools that are first brought into the system. Taking a look at the software over here, it's a relatively straightforward interface. We have icons across the top. These icons give you access to the various tool capabilities. There, we try to make the pictures self-explanatory. So this is for tower up, this is for tower down. We can pivot the stylus up, pivot the stylus down. This is actually to make a, sim a simple measurement from a, from a recipe or a program. And this is just to make a measurement at the current stage location. And here's how you set up multiple automation programs. This is a visual here where you actually see it scanning. The uh, video is live as we make a scan, so we will make a scan from this location and we will see what happens. So you see the stylus pivoting down to make a sample and you will see the stylus the sample will move underneath. The stage, the stylus remains stationary in the video screen and you see the trace real time as it's moving across the sample. 
So it's a relatively straightforward and simple measurement. Here we're just measuring a, a simple step height standard. It's a little dirty because we're at a trade show. And then uh, we can make some analyses with this. So we will, first we will level the trace. It's relatively straightforward, just grab and tra drag those lines. We hook this one here, which levels the trace at the current cursor positions. R, which is red, stands for reference, so that's the bottom surface in this case. M is your measure and. So we will go and make a measurement. And if we take a look down here, your average step height is 4, 4.8 uh, microns, 4.859 microns. It also calculates your roughness and your total indicated range uh, within, the ra within the sample itself. Uh, so it's relatively straightforward um, and most people never use a tool beyond what I've just shown you. It's uh, very simple, very straightforward um, and a very powerful technique.